Hello everyone and welcome back to our ALMA training series. This is the next video in our cataloging session. We've already talked about holdings. We've talked about adding to holdings, searching within holdings. We have talked about importing records. Now we're going to talk briefly about how to do original cataloging. You see here we are at our ALMA homepage. And what we're going to do is we are going to go up to resources, hold our cursor, we're going to bring this tab down and we're going to go to where it says open metadata editor. You see we get a new screen here. We've seen this before, um, but we are going to be working explicitly in this area. So the first thing that we want to do if we're going to do original cataloging is remember to have checked the holdings previously, to check the network zone holdings, also to check Library of Congress and WorldCat to see if the record can be imported. If not, what we'll do is we'll go over here to where it says File. We drop down and we're going to go to the tab New. Now when we hit New, we get this other screen that's got different formats. We are going to be using Mark 21 Bibliographic. So we click on that. And this brings up our screen, our new record screen. We can scroll down and you see that the tab, the, the fields that we'll be filling out. And we'll also have, please remember that you guys don't have to have these fields memorized that we'll have um, <laughs> kind of a, a little sheet to go with it. So the first one that we're going to be looking at is our leader field. So we click on it here. Then we hit control F to open it up. And this is where we'll kind of go through and answer some questions about the record that's being added. So record status new, the language type of record, descriptive cataloging form, etc. So we'll fill that out and then once we get our information in we can save the draft and the nice thing about Alma is that we can have drafts in our record area here and if you're working on one and need to step away for a moment, you can always come back to it. Things don't get released into our zone until we hit release record. The release record will release a record. And that puts it in our network zone, or I'm sorry, in our institution zone. So again, we are going to have a form for everyone to look at that will have the subfields that we need to work on. But again, pretty easy to get to, just resources, open metadata editor, then file, new, the important thing is to remember that you want to do a Mark 21 bibliographic. And then you'll go through and fill out the fields. Please note that the dollar sign, dollar sign A's are just part of, or dollar sign, dollar sign A, dollar sign, dollar sign B, dollar sign, dollar sign D, etc. These tags, this is what you're going to have in front of the information that you put. So if you wanted to add, we go to edit and we want to add a field you want to put your cursor over where you want the field to go so if you have a like let's say a 42 you click right here you get edit and then add field and that's where your 042 field would go you can also remove fields as well so if there's a field that you don't want to have in the record, just go to edit and remove. So pretty simple. And in our next one, we'll be talking a little bit more about physical inventory, adding our barcodes and adding our 852 fields.